Hey everyone, and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. It's that time of year when you've got excess turkey, excess cranberries maybe, excess ham. What do you do with it? You make a pie with it is what you do. You make a turkey, cranberry and leek ham pie. Super simple to make, really, really tasty, and it's so much better than that Boxing Day cold meat fest that everyone always does. We're gonna finish that off with a little bit of sweated down leeks and phyllo pastry crumpled over the top. I'm gonna do the whole thing in just one pan and pop that in the oven. So let's get this cooking. This is so simple to make. Remember the turkey and the ham is cooked anyway, so all I'm making is the real, real simple sauce. I'm into a pan, which is going with a large knob of butter, and then into there, we're gonna go with about three or four leeks. You can use white onion in this if you want brown onion, that'll work just as well. I just kind of like leeks, their actual texture on this. I'm gonna sweat them down, and into that as well, we're gonna go in with two large handfuls of our cranberries. So once you're happy that's started to sweat down, I suppose that takes about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna go in with a good pinch of tarragon. I've just got dried here, use fresh if you want. I've got a little bit of parsley, scatter that through. And then we've got our cooked meat. So remember your turkey, your ham, everything's really cooked off so it's nice and easy. You don't wanna put this in too early because it's obviously gonna go really dry. And for the turkey, you just wanna really just chop them up into nice rustic chunks, really. You want some good bits in there not too shredded. Chuck that in, same again with our ham. Into that, we're gonna add around 400 milliliters of chicken stock and around 300 milliliters of thick double cream. So you're just gonna leave that to cook for about five to 10 minutes off, just so the leeks sweat down and some of that sauce starts to thicken up as well. See, there we go, we are pretty much there. You can see it's almost got this pink color going through the sauce. That's just where the cranberries are popping open. Beautiful little bit of sweetness in there. Give that a little try. Mmm, that is so, so good. So easy to make. I mean, what has that taken? 10, 15 minutes? And that's gonna go in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. That is it. We're gonna grab ourselves a couple of sheets of phyllo pastry. And into there, we're just gonna cut it straight down the middle, and then across, and across. And then with these squares, you're just gonna crumple them up really lightly like that and just gonna lay them slightly on the side and a little bit on top. Again with this one, just crumple that up slightly, and just lay it around the side and slightly on top. Then finally, just a little bit of egg wash just over the top, just so we can get that lovely sort of glaze going on. That can go into the oven 15 to 20 minutes just until it's gone lovely and golden brown. There we go. Woo -hoo! The smell in here is incredible. I serve a little bit of this up. Smells like lovely sauce. Look how thick that's gone now. You can really play about with this type of recipe. You know, you can put bacon in there, you can put chicken in there, you can use sausages, you can use anything you want. That is just the most simplest pie you will ever make. I mean, come on, it doesn't get simpler than that. Oh, that is so good. You've got that real sort of tarragon taste going through there, which really makes that sauce. And um, if you do recreate this one, which I hope you do, you know, what that take? 10, 15 minutes? 10, 15 minutes, then another 10 minutes in the oven just to get that puff pastry, just to go golden. So simple and so much nicer than a bit of cold turkey on Boxing Day. Um, if you do recreate this one, which I hope you do, let me know if you enjoy it at Haste Kitchen. So hastekitchen.com or give me a hashtag with Haste Kitchen. Um, have a great Christmas, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye-bye.